Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Every once in a while, we'll hear somebody say, I believe in Christianity, I believe in Jesus Christ, but I don't believe in organized religion. Does that mean you believe in disorganized religion? (laughs) It's a bad joke. (laughs) I want to ask you a question this morning. How does God preserve your faith? And it may not be as simple as you think. We're in Matthew chapter 21, and as you remember, Jesus has had some difficult words with the chief priests and the elders. He told a parable. We talked about that a couple days ago. And now he dives into this parable, beginning at verse 33. Hear another parable. There was a master of a house who painted or planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. Now, who is the master in this? That's God. Who are the tenants? That's farmers who would take care of the vineyard while the master was gone. That's the leaders of the nation of Israel, the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees. What is the vineyard? That's Israel. And the thing I want to talk about real quickly today is this. What about the watchtower and what about the fence? Well, in vineyards in the early church, this is what happened. A fence was built and a watchtower was built because the fence was to keep out animals and the watchtower was to keep out thieves, right? And so here's my point. Basically, Jesus is saying God wants the nation of Israel and their faith preserved and protected. And the same thing can be said about you and me. God wants your faith rooted in Jesus Christ to be preserved and protected. And how does he do that? Well, we think about people who say, you know, I believe in Christ, but I don't believe in organized religion. It's organized religion that helps preserve and protect our faith. Basically, the watchtower and the fence that preserves and protects our faith is this. It's the word of God proclaimed, read, shared, uttered, both in church and in devotional life and in small groups and Bible study. That's what preserves strengthens and solidifies our faith. And so does the sacrament. You could say that the watchtower is the word and the fence is a sacrament. We come to church broken, battered, and bruised by our sin. We repent of our sin. We receive the body and blood of Christ in with and under the bread and wine of communion to preserve, protect, and strengthen our faith. And here's another thing that Christian fellowship does in church or in the body of Christ. Sometimes when you're down, sometimes when you're discouraged, sometimes when you need a pick me up, you can go to a Christian friend within the confines of the local congregation, a friend that you go to church with, and you can talk about the things that you're struggling with. And what can they say? They can say things to encourage you, to point you to Jesus, to make you more deeply rooted in the things of God. We need Christian fellowship. So when people say, I believe in Christ, but I don't believe in organized religion, they're basically saying, I don't need to grow. I don't need fellowship. I don't need to have my faith preserved. I can do it on my own. A few months ago, I shared a story about loving to use my Weber grill. And I used the story of briquettes. Remember we said that when you put the briquettes together and you light them, um, the embers, the, the ignition, if you will, the, the burning of each ember feeds on each other and the whole thing starts to ignite. But when you take one ember and put it off to the side, that ember goes out. It's the same thing with our faith. So when people say, I don't need the church, I don't need organized religion, they're basically saying, yeah, I'm willing to go it alone. Well, that's not going to go. That's, that's like a vineyard being built without a fence, without a watchtower. And we need a fence and we need a watchtower. And that's where the word sacrament and fellowship all come in. So if Satan sometimes is tempting you to say, ah, don't go to church today. Um, don't fellowship today. You can go it alone. He's a liar and the father of lies. We need the church. We need to go to church. We need to hear the word of God. We need Christian fellowship. That's the watchtower. That's the fence. That's how our faith is protected and preserved. So bottom line of this, keep going to church. <laughs> And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ.
Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.